same stuff, the strobe light, work and um, yeah, so, so, all so this is just different. Uh, not only your home, but kind of your workshop. Well, no, this no, is this is, this this is no, it is. Where do you live? No, 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 no. no this is <laughs> no, this is deployment station number one. Right? So, so in this case, okay, these are the air Gatling guns, and uh, so deployment number one, number two. Check this out. In this case, I have the kids go out and we get freaking bucks. So so for the kids, we won't put a bug on it, and then mm -hmm. uh, with this, they're projecting onto a screen, and they're seeing this big long bug on the center of the screen. So we do a little pantograph, and now it's a video game in process where they're trying to keep it on the screen, and they're seeing this bug where the, it's <laughs> the entire screen I mean, for a rainy day. It's like go out, find a few worms. <laughs> this, I mean, this like ten thousand worth of videography that, that you bring into the classroom and stuff. So I was a but because it's <laughs> magical, so I'll challenge the kids into why does it do it, and then I'll start smoking it, and you'll see this smoke ring cool, travel across space. And, uh, uh, yeah, so uh, and and the way I'll do that is you know in this case I'll. Take this, which is a, uh, a squid gun, adapted with a heat energizer, so the liquid smoke fog solution is going through my heat engine and out in this. So this generates a bit of smoke. So, and, and this, I mean, I will, I'm actually going to use it at college level to demonstrate both the particle nature of light and the wave nature. Because as a particle, I'll squirt this in, and you'll see this smoke ring travel through space. Right, you know, so from here to there I go, and as long as it could be smoke, it could be a smell, it could be a scent, it could be a volatile gas. So I'll squirt propane, and then this guy attaches it onto it, I'll squirt propane or butane into it. When it hits a candle, this blue ring of fire just evaporates out of nowhere. And you know, it's like Harry Potter 101, but for real. So tell me so, again, Terry, um, what your real mission is. My mission is to empower kids to that they can be the inventors of the future. I mean, they have the ideas. I mean, all these different camps are just cauldrons for developing ideas, but kids, you know, you, you want them to know that they can think of an idea and just make it. And it can be anything. It doesn't have to be something you're going to make for money. It's just a cool idea. And to, 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 to uh, empower them to be able to just take their ideas and you know, uh, and change it. I do it by showing them some really cool inventions I came up with. There's a lot of cool science behind it. So one of those goals with this is science through invention, but uh, it, it's really just invention can be a hobby that no matter what career they go into, uh, that they can do, and that they can they can just uh, you know they're the inventors of the future, and I'm here to help them on that path. And. Uh, snap people out of their otherwise mundane life and say, well, there's a magic out there.